My name is Amy Herring, and I am Professor and Director of Undergraduate Studies in Statistical Science at Duke. It's good to talk with you. I look forward to the start of the spring semester. We've created this video to help with questions that may arise as you ponder registration for spring 2021. However, you're also welcome to join my office hours, which are listed on my Scholars at Duke page, as well as just sending an email to the email on the last slide in this presentation if you'd like to talk in person or have an email exchange. Here are some general principles guiding our undergraduate courses for spring 2021. Most of our courses will be online. However, there will be generous opportunities for direct online interaction with professors and TAs. Synchronous attendance is strongly encouraged and this is because you, students, have told us that you have greater levels of course satisfaction when you're able to join in person than when you're only participating asynchronously. However, we realize that it's not always possible for everyone to join in real time, and asynchronous participation will be fully accommodated in all our courses. Students who do not have fast internet connections should definitely plan to download and install RStudio before classes start. If you have questions about this process, please email your instructor directly and they can give you guidance. If you're considering a course for transfer, beware. It can be challenging to find a course that matches the rigor, the breadth of material, and the emphasis on programming that our introductory courses here at Duke have. We've set up a web form on our departmental website under the undergraduate tab, then transfer credits, and you can input details about courses there if you would like for me to evaluate them for possible transfer. Statistical Science 199, Introduction to Data Science, is a modern welcome to our discipline. In this course, which has no prerequisites, you'll learn valuable skills along the data science pipeline, from data wrangling and munging, to data visualization, and to principled methods for making inferences about multivariate data. Modern skills for reproducible research using the R, R Markdown, and GitHub computing environments are emphasized. This course provides students with valuable data science skills that will help in getting summer internships, either at Duke with Data Plus or elsewhere in industry. This course, like all our introductory courses, has an associated computing lab and is taught in spring by three excellent instructors, Drs. Isinger, Santo, and Smith. A great starting point in the discipline with a focus on applied statistics and hands-on analysis, STAT 199 counts for both the major and minor in statistics so the material should be accessible to all Duke students. The instructors have prepared a short introduction for you. My name is Jacob Smith and I'm teaching section one with lectures held from 5.15 to 6.30 on Monday and Wednesday. Labs are held on Thursdays at 3.30, 5.15 and 7 p.m. and asynchronously. Some fun facts about me are that I'm a big fan of Star Wars and Marvel movies and that I really like coffee and tea. My name is Bob and I teach section two where the live lecture is held 10.15 to 11.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and labs held Fridays, 10.15 to 11.30, 12 to 1.15, 1.45 to 3, and asynchronously. A fun fact about me is in college, I played in a Finnish brass septet. My name is Sean Santo, and I'm teaching Section 3 of STA 199, with lectures held 8.30 to 9.45 a.m. on Wednesdays and Fridays, with labs held on Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m., 5.15 p.m., 7 p.m., and one additional section that's asynchronous. Some fun facts about me are that I enjoy competing in open water swimming races, archery, and that I have two pets, one dog named Barkley and one cat named Bugs. STA 199 is an introductory data science course. Students will be exposed to real-world data and use modern programming tools including RStudio and GitHub to create professional reproducible analyses. Topics include wrangling data, visualizing data, making predictions, and effectively communicating results. Myself and the other two instructors are working as a team to ensure you have the best experience possible this coming semester. You should choose the section that fits best with your schedule. Both the lecture and lab components are held online synchronously and will be recorded. Participating live is not mandatory, but you are encouraged to do so to interact with your professor, teaching assistants, and other students. This course will include weekly lab assignments, periodic homework, and take-home exams. We know that there are challenges with taking an online course. To accommodate different time zones, office hours will be available throughout the day. And as much of modern data science is conducted in teams, we will have a group work component in this course. Teams will be created to ensure that students are in similar time zones and have a diversity of prior experiences. We have designed the course to help you learn data science no matter where you are. 
We look forward to seeing you in the spring. Stat 240, Probability for Statistics, is a more theoretical introduction to the mathematical underpinnings of our field. Students who have completed second semester calculus should be well prepared to start here. Our fall course, ah, crap -a -lola. If you're somewhat concerned about taking statistics, but you're still watching this video, and I haven't yet convinced you to take STAT 199, you might also consider STAT 101 or STAT 102. These introductory courses, which have no prerequisites, present a mixture of the applied and theoretical topics in STAT 199, and to a lesser degree, STAT 240, and while they don't count towards our major, they do count towards the minor, and they will give you a good foundation in the discipline, as well as in modern computing using R and R markdown. While the technical content of the courses is similar, STAT 102, Introductory Biostatistics, is focused on applications in the health and biomedical sciences, while STAT 101 has more of a social and behavioral science applications focus. The instructors have prepared a few words for you now. Hi, my name is Jacob Smith and I'm teaching one of the sections of STAT 101 in the spring at 10.15 a.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays. Some fun facts about me are that I enjoy British and Scandinavian murder mysteries and like running and hiking in nature. STAT 101 is an introduction to understanding and analyzing data and is an especially good course for students with a social science, public policy, or humanities background. Based on my background in political science and policy, I'm especially looking forward to talking about data focused on policymaking in Congress in the spring. Assignments will include labs, problem sets, take-home exams, and a project. Both the lecture and lab components will be held online uh, synchronously, but they will be recorded if you cannot attend. While attendance is not mandatory, you're encouraged to attend live if you can. In this course, you'll learn how to use the statistical software R to analyze and visualize data. There are lab sections and office hours throughout the day. The labs are on Thursday, office hours will be throughout the week. So we want to accommodate students in all time zones. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the spring. Hello everyone. My name is Antik Chopraborty and I'm teaching one of the sections of STAT 101 at 3.30 p.m. on Monday and Wednesday. Some fun facts about me are that I enjoy playing soccer and I have been following Manchester United since 2000. STAT 101 is an introduction to understanding and analyzing data and in, is an especially good course for students with social science, public policy or humanities background. I'm looking forward to engaging with you in analyzing data from several interesting real life applications. Assignments will include labs, problem sets, take home exams and a project. Both the lecture and lab components will be held online synchronously, but they will be recorded if you cannot attend. While attendance is not mandatory, you are encouraged to attend live if you can. In this course, you will learn how to use the statistical software R to analyze and visualize data. There are lab sections and office hours throughout the day to accommodate students in all time zones. I look forward to seeing you in the spring. Hello everyone, my name is Sam Burchuk, and I'm the instructor for STAT 102 in the spring semester, an introduction to biostatistics. In the course, we will learn the core techniques from statistics and data science motivated through the lens of health science, biomedical research, and public health. Students will learn common statistical methods and their suitability in answering specific research questions of interest, conduct rigorous reproducible analysis using the software program R, and be able to translate the results in the language accessible to allied health science researchers. Upon completion of this course, students will be capable of evaluating database claims and decisions and critically interpret the use of statistics in their respective fields. The course's lectures will take place on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. with a weekly lab each Monday. Lectures and labs will be online and will be asynchronous. However, in-person attendance will be encouraged so that students can best take advantage of interactions with myself, teaching assistants, and students. I look forward to seeing you in the spring. Students who have taken any 100 level statistics course at Duke or probability theory are able to move on to regression modeling. This course assumes familiarity with the R and ART markdown computing environments. So if you're using probability as the prerequisite, you might run through an online R tutorial over winter break, but note we'll have some R training early in the semester. Regression gives students an excellent introduction to statistical models from an applied perspective. Once our students have completed regression and a probability course, the door is open for a wide variety of higher level electives in the discipline. 
Every so often, we have a student with very strong skills in linear algebra who's seeking a much more theoretical introduction to the field. If this is you, just drop me an email on the next slide and we can discuss graduate level options. Now, let's hear from Professor Tackett about the course. Hi, my name is Maria Tackett and I teach STAT 210 Regression Analysis. In 210, we'll build upon what you've learned in your introductory statistics or data science course as we fit, interpret, and assess linear regression models. The focus of the course is on application, so we will be using R and GitHub extensively throughout the semester. Each week, there will be two live lecture sessions as well as a lab session. During the live lectures, we'll do hands-on application exercises where you'll practice applying the material that you've learned through content videos that will be available before each live session. Attending the live lectures and labs is strongly encouraged as this will give you an opportunity to interact with members of the teaching team as well as other students in the course. I do understand, however, that there will be students taking the course from a variety of time zones and so all of the live sessions will be recorded and made available to you on Sakai. In addition to the application exercises, some of the course activities will include weekly lab assignments, periodic homework assignments, periodic quizzes, and a final group project where you'll apply the methods you've learned throughout the semester in order to analyze a data set of your choice. Office hours will be scheduled throughout the week at various times to accommodate students in multiple time zones. In addition to office hours, we'll also be using Piazza so you'll have an opportunity to ask questions outside of office hours and the live meeting time. The course has been designed to accommodate students in multiple time zones, so you have an opportunity to be successful no matter where you are when you take the course. I look forward to seeing you all in 210 in the spring. Please feel free to email with any questions you have. In particular, if you're considering the statistical science major, your choices of math prerequisites may have an impact on your ability to earn the optional mathematical statistics or data science concentrations. We'd also be happy to talk with you about a minor, the interdepartmental major in data science, or one that you've designed on your own, or just getting your feet wet in our field. Whatever your goals, we hope to see you in a statistics course soon. Thank you.